Well, good afternoon. It's great to be with you. I bring you a little bit of good news. It is encouraging to know that the front runners, indeed everyone on the stage on our side of the aisle and running for president, are not under an investigation by the FBI. You know, I, I, I need also stress that when we start to look at this particular issue of emails and servers and things like that, you know, it's, it's amazing that the American people would even really entertain the idea that Hillary Clinton didn't believe that there was anything classified on any of those emails. So I'm here today to ask you to stay involved as activists who truly who understand the importance of our nation. These are historic times, not only for our party, but for the conservative movement. And when we start to look at that, we have to realize that as historic as it may be, it also offers a number of challenges. You know, we're, we're faced today with a Medicare program that is going bankrupt. If it were a business, it would already have junk bond status attached to it. We have ISIS that is going crazy over in the Middle East, and yet they seem to not fear the most powerful military in the world. It's time that our enemies start to fear us and our allies once again start to trust us and that we take back 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue once and for all. Now, I, I share that because some of the battles that we face, just to be honest, are not all against the other party. Sometimes the battle we face is within our own Republican brand. And so it's important as activists that we make sure that we take back that power that is rightfully ours as we the people. And so I share that because, you know, what happens sometimes is they're out there campaigning, they're asking many of you for your vote. They want you to help. They want you to make sure that you get involved. They campaign like eagles. And then they come up here and start to drink the Potomac punch and all of a sudden forget who they represent. Now, the, the trouble with that is that when they start to drink it, they, when they're running for office, they think that everyone is so incredibly brilliant. And the minute they get here, somehow they start to question the very people that sent them here's judgment. So I'm here today to ask you to stay involved, to not only continue to work, but also to offer bold solutions. You know, I've had the, the great privilege of working hand in hand, side by side with Senator Ted Cruz. When he really looked, yes, when he really made sure that he was fighting for Israel, fighting for people on Main Street, moms and dads, I've had the opportunity to work with Senator Mike Lee when he fights the, fa uh, the fight to make sure that each and every day that the Constitution is upheld. I've also had the opportunity to work with Senator Rand Paul when we talk about privacy and the Fourth Amendment and to make sure that your privacy is protected. There is no one that is greater in that voice there. And now it's my honor once again to stand with Senator Chuck Grassley when he's made a decision that there will be no hearings, there will be no confirmation on a Supreme Court nominee until the next administration is here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm here to ask you to stay involved. I remind my constituents and they remind me that this is my voting card and it has my picture on it. But I'm here today to tell you that it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to the 750,000 people that I have the privilege of representing. Make sure that your member of Congress and your senator understands that if they don't see the light, they need to feel the heat. And I want to close with 
One of my favorite quotes from Teddy Roosevelt, and I'll read it, far better is it to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though they're checkered with failures, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in that gray twilight that knows not victory or defeat. I ask you to stand with me and have a victory in November and take it back. God bless you. Good to see you.